Hello and welcome to Aging is for Everyone. I'm Laura Mondello and I'll be your host for the show. Today we're talking about changes in health care and here to tell us about some changes that are coming to Medicare is Bill Daniels who is with the Erie County Department of Senior Services. Welcome Bill. Uh, welcome, glad to be here today. It's great to have you here. Um, there's a lot of controversy about the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare. You know, a lot of people are against it, but there's, there's some changes to Medicare in the Affordable Care Act that people need to know about. Can you can you tell us what those changes are? Yes, it's actually a good thing for an awful lot of people with Medicare. Mm -hmm. They're going to do very well with the Affordable Care Act. There's uh, preventive services that used to have a 20% copay. Mm -hmm. Now there's free, no copay for these people. Great. A big issue is prescription drug cost. Right. Okay. There's a, a gap right now that is huge after mm -hmm. initial coverage. That gap is being shrunk down by the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. So by 2020, the gap will disappear. Great. For, for next year, 2014, you get a 53% discount on brand name drugs. So mm -hmm. that can save an awful lot of people a great deal of money. Right. Right. Okay. It's holding doctors more accountable. It's holding hospitals more accountable. Mm -hmm. It's holding insurance companies, the Medicare Advantage plans, more accountable to provide right. better service for people on Medicare. Right, right. So it's doing a lot of good things for folks who Definitely. are on Medicare. Um, as, as far as like some of the, you mentioned that there, there won't be a copay for certain um, procedures. And what, what are those the, that? They won't have to pay a copay there's, for There's quite a few for, for mammograms, mm -hmm. copay is gone, mm -hmm. prostate, quite a few. There's, there's a whole arrangement. Okay, like colonoscopies. Colonoscopies, like yes. Okay, so. That's all going away. That's great, and hopefully that will encourage more people to get those tests early, yes. take better care of themselves, yes. instead of worrying about that 20%. Copay exactly. that used to be there. Mm -hmm. That's terrific. Now you mentioned some changes in the Medicare Advantage plans for 2014. Can you just go over those a little bit more in depth? Yes, the Medicare Advantage plans are going to be held more responsible for the mm -hmm. quality of the care they provide. Right. Okay, financial. There's financial incentives for them to do better. Mm -hmm. They're rated on a one to five star rating. Okay. And if anyone's interested, they call my office. I'll, I'll tell them exactly how those ratings are determined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the local ones here usually have between a, a three to five star rating mm -hmm. and some of your out-of-state plans are maybe three to three and a half. Okay. Okay, so, mm -hmm. which is important because 54 percent of people in this ad area have a Medicare Advantage program. Okay, and how so. many, how many P different Medicare Advantage programs are there for people to choose from locally? Well, there's about five, five different five. companies, and each one might have a half different, half dozen different plans. Okay, so when people are looking, you know, they really need to look at what's in each, yes. what each plan offers. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's the Medicare supplemental plans as well. Right. So there's mm -hmm. a great deal of choices. Right. So much for it's it's like trying to to choose a breakfast cereal <laughs> from a supermarket aisle. There's so many choices. It's, right. it's difficult for a lot of people to do it on their own. Right. Right. And and then you mentioned that there's changes in Medicare Part D yes. coverage for people. So, um, you know, a lot of people may just get their Part D and stick with it, but. Mm -hmm. That's maybe not the best idea? Not the best thing to do <laughs> because they can change these plans every year. Right. And they do. Right. They can change their formulary, the mm -hmm. medicine that they're going to cover. They can make changes and things such as they require step therapy. Mm -hmm. So the doctor order one medication, but the insurance company may not necessarily cover that. Okay. Or they can require quantity limits or they could require prior authorization. And for the same medication, it might be all three Okay. before they will cover it. Okay, so if somebody may assume that their plan that works for them this year is just perfect, but they really need to look at what the changes yes. are involved for the plan for mm -hmm. the next year. Yes, it's difficult for the consumer because you almost have to reject your needs for the following year. Right. Some people have special enrollments, so mm -hmm. if they're locked into a plan this year, it's not necessarily locked in for good. Okay. For example, if they have Epic Elderly Pharmaceutical Insurance coverage, mm -hmm. they can make one change outside the annual enrollment period. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. That's yes. good to know. And 
as I said, as we said, there's a lot of choices for people to choose from, mm -hmm. but it's got to be very confusing for some folks. How, how can they get help? They can call us. Now, we do not sell insurance. We will give you two or three options. We'll leave it up to you to make the best choice for yourself, but mm -hmm. we will give you an educated choice. We'll tell you how, how well the plan is rated right. by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Mm -hmm. We'll tell you about restrictions. It's important if you choose an HMO model to make sure your, your doctors are covered by the insurance company. Mm -hmm. right. It might be a re network restriction as well. Okay. Certain hospitals may not be included. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's very important to know. A yeah. lot of people here, like I said before, like the Medicare Advantage programs because mm -hmm. they're low premium. Right. But you have to live with the restrictions of the insurance company. Right, right. Now, if somebody has particular medications that they need to take, you know, when they have their doctor, will, is there somebody available that can kind of go over with them individually? Yes. If, if they call us, the first thing we ask person is, what kind of medicine do you take? What are the names of your medications? Mm -hmm. We check that first. Because doctors you know, prescribe medication, and what good is it if you can't get it covered? Right, right. You know? We also have people, besides our office in the Rath Building, downtown Buffalo, we have people in Hamburg, we have them in Orchard Park, mm -hmm. Tonawanda, Amherst, and Buffalo that can meet with one-on-one. -on -one, okay. In addition to our, our Rath Building office. Which is good to know. because. Yes. I mean, I know that you can do a lot of this on your own on a computer, but some of the older adults maybe don't have a computer or aren't that computer savvy. That's the case in a lot of times. But it's, I said that's why we're there, and we enjoy right. what we're doing. Right, right. And I know this time of year you guys are out and about a lot. Yes, we are. Doing a lot of education for people. Yes. So and We have an unbiased comparison between all the plans. Right. All right. the Medicare Advantage programs, line by line, which your co-pays would be. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's up for the person to make sure the doctor accepts the insurance. Right, right. Okay. okay. So folks can really get more information by the, going to the Department of Senior Services website. Yes. And also we have your uh, email and we have your information um, on the screen so Great. folks can get in touch with you. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you so much for right. being with us, Bill. We really appreciate it. Welcome. And this is obviously important information. Um, people really shouldn't just stick with that Part D plan no. <laughs> forever. <laughs> Thanks again. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Yes. We'll be right back with more Aging is for Everyone.